guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to make my DIY insecticidal soap wipes. Honestly, these wipes have been helping me get through pest season. I don't know about you, but when it gets colder around here, I swear my plants are more prone to spider mites. So I have been using these wipes to clean my leaves off. I thought I would throw in this little helpful video to help us all survive pest season. So before I show you how to make the DIY insecticidal soap wipes, I wanted to show you my Calathea orbifolia. I had noticed that she had spider mites pretty bad before I made my insecticidal soap wipes. And the main reason I wanted to make the wipes is because plants that have bigger leaves, once you spray the foliage with the insecticidal soap, it literally just drips onto the floor everywhere. And I just really don't like that. And after almost three years of owning plants, I'm done with the drippies. So these are the insecticidal soap wipes that I already have pre-made. You can never have enough of these. I'm not sure how well you can see the dustiness, but once you clean your own leaves, I'm sure you'll be able to tell how well they work. But I just take the wipe and I just wipe the entire leaf off. Do not forget the back of the leaf. I find that a lot of spider mites like to hang on to the back of leaves. Sometimes I find them like around the ridges and even like right in here as well. There is some white stuff on my plants from that sulfur that I sprayed on them. And there's a leaf that I need to cut off down here, but look how much shinier the leaves are, the ones that I cleaned. This one. This one, they just look so much better. So I'm so excited that I came up with this little idea. I feel like a good indication that your plant doesn't have pests anymore, or at least spider mites, because I really don't know what is in this reservoir. It wasn't growing for a while. That's why I noticed that something was wrong with it because this plant usually puts out a new leaf every month at least. So after treating it with the insecticidal soap wipes, I did notice that this new growth was coming up and it looks like it's gonna be a very large leaf. I really cannot wait. It's so hard to get a picture of this plant because it's so big, but I should probably start taking pictures with my plants. I think it's time. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need are these certain kind of paper towels, which are these. They're already open because, like I said, I already made insecticidal wipes here, but what are these called? Shop Original, they're by Scott. I got these from Walmart, you get a two pack for $5. I don't know if that's expensive for paper towels, but, but I buy them just to make insecticidal soap wipes, so it's not like I'm buying them all the time anyway. But they are these wipes right here, I'll link them below. And they look like this, they're blue. And the reason why we're using these is because they're a lot thicker than regular napkins. My grandmother is actually the one who taught me how to make these wipes. Not necessarily with the insecticidal soap, but we used to use cleaning product back in the peak of the pandemic when we couldn't find any cleaning wipes. We would take these and make our own cleaning wipes. And she told me the reason why we would use these wipes is because if you use regular paper towels, they will disintegrate. I'm not sure if the insecticidal soap will do the same thing, but just to be on the safe side, I like to use Use these same kind of wipes so they're blue wipes and then you're gonna need some type of container this is just an old container that I had different wipes sitting in the one that I'm currently using this container is from the Dollar Tree I think this is from the Dollar Tree too but it had some type of wipes inside this one came empty and then you can also store them this way in a little ziploc baggie I'm gonna have a lot of insecticidal soap wipes but it's necessary and then of course you're gonna need some insecticidal soap I use the one from Garden Safe. I've always used this insecticidal soap, or you can use Jack, Jack Bond, Bond Jack, Jack Bonds. What is it called? I used to use that one too, but I do prefer this one because it doesn't smell as bad. They all smell bad, but this one's a little bit more bearable. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is cut this roll in half because obviously these are not the same size, so I wouldn't be able to get these wipes into this. But if you could find something that's the same size, all the more better. Unfortunately, I couldn't, and this is the only size I have, so I do end up cutting this roll in half. I actually already filmed this video, and I didn't like the way it came out, so I did film myself cutting one already. Where is it? Oh my god. Never prepared. I already chopped this roll in half. If you use a knife, make sure it's really sharp, because this is so hard to cut in half because of the... What is this called? 
because of the cardboard inside once you get to that little part right there literal hell so if you got some type of tool like a little saw or something I would use that just be careful but a knife was not cutting it so you want to cut it in half like this so that it fits better into the container Anywho, so now that we have our chopped paper towels the second thing you want to do is take the rough side and put that one in first because you don't want all of this stuff getting everywhere every time you grab a wipe because unfortunately it's gonna get everywhere but in the bottom of the container so I'm just squishing this in here you might have to take some off like I've been using these as regular napkins it is a little bit more thick when you first get it so you might have to take a few off but that's okay because like I said you can store some in here as well Boop. so we got them in like that this is so easy let me hurry up <laughs> the next thing you want to do is just pour some insecticidal soap in there I like this insecticidal soap because it has a gauge meter right there so you know like how full it is I mean I know you can tell by the weight but I like that I can see it there it reminds me of my self watering pots how cute but now you want to pour some in here like you see the amount of wipes in here don't overdo it you don't have to have them soaking in here at all so just you know Make sure you're wetting everything. I'll do two little circles where I'm pouring pretty slow. And I think that should be good. The next thing we're going to want to do is take some hot water. I'm really not sure if this water has to be hot or not. So don't ask me, why does the water have to be hot? I don't know. I don't think it does. But my grandma used hot water. So I'm going to use hot water. And I'm just pouring some over. Oh my God, it smells so bad because it's insecticidal soap. But I'm just pouring a little bit over the top. Okay, not too much because I don't want to dilute it too much. Let me throw a little bit more of this on here. A little more insecticidal juice in there. Boom. Okay. They're nice and juicy, steaming a little bit. Oop. That's what you get for buying a container at the Dollar Tree. I think the hot water makes it so that the cardboard becomes soft and we'll be able to peel it right out. But while this is in here for a couple of minutes, let's go get one more plant to wipe off just so we can see how well they work. So if you follow me on Instagram, I've been posting this plant a lot lately because you know I have a leaf that was stuck trying to unfurl. I did get it unstuck yesterday. It has not unfurled yet and it already ripped before it unfurled. So that's really sad, but there is some good news. Okay, this is as close as I'm going to get with this plant. But as you can see, I finally got it unstuck from the other leaf that it was coming out of. I'm not sure how well you can see the ripped leaf, but it is ripped. However, I did go ahead and move where I air layered this plant. You guys saw me air layer this plant in a video, the same video where I ponverted this plant. And I did it a little bit lower where, oops. I had air layered it a little bit lower and I noticed when I took off the sphagnum moss that the roots were actually rotting because before I air layered it they were already pretty dried out so the roots that are behind this one that is a root right there I'm so excited I cannot wait to chop this up because this leaf up here has to go I just wanted to give you an update on my pride and joy she's doing fairly well if I would have known that I was able to get her leaf unstuck with a dental floss pick, I would have done it before it ripped, but you know, you live and you learn. You can't really see the dirt on this leaf. Well, it's not even really dirt. It's that sulfur stuff. This plant isn't that dusty because I just got it, but I am sick of looking at that sulfur, so I'm taking it off. Look how big these are. I still can't get over this plant. Like, I feel like the lady could have sold this plant for like $300 and I got it for $95. Imagine she's mad about it. Just kidding. My God. Let me see if I can get a whole leaf on camera. Yeah, there we go. Like, I know you guys only see my plants through pictures and video, but can you tell how big this is? Just wanted to show you that the leaf is almost as big as my hand, if not the same size. And my hands are not that small because I'm 5'7", and that would be weird if I had small hands. Anywho, I'm just gonna open this now. You definitely wanna take this out. Little cardboard. And now you'll just be able to grab them from the middle and rip one off as you need. 
How freaking convenient. <laughs> that does bring me to the end of today's video. Give me a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Leave me a comment down below if this video was helpful for you. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until my next video, bye guys. Sleeves down. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna need are... <laughs> of course my camera's overheating. I hate when rappers say they trying to get their swagger right because I didn't came with more fire than a dragon fight. <laughs> See, as hater, you should do you. Oops, oh my god, I almost just broke a leaf. All right, we're done, we're done, we're done.